A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. Today, Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim, but her move to Islam came at a very high price. Dan Harris reports on this woman's test of faith. Ann Holmes Redding was an Episcopal priest for 25 years until a radical test of faith. Several years ago, while she was mourning the death of her mother, she was trying out an Islamic meditation technique that she'd learned in an interfaith class. And that, she says, is when it happened. It came with such clarity and such power that I could understand it as nothing else but uh, an invitation from God. In fact, she says it was Jesus himself who led her to Islam. You think Jesus led you to become a Muslim? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're laughing. Because I know it doesn't make sense to people. Now, Redding not only prays in church, but she also prays five times a day to Allah. In Islam, Jesus is viewed as a prophet. Yes. Not as the son of God. Yes, you're right. So yours is a radical rethink of the Christian scriptures, a rethink that a lot of people would call heretical. Yes, and do, loudly. This spring, the Episcopal Church revoked Redding's right to be a priest. Being defrocked, I would imagine, was a pretty traumatic experience. Yes, that's an understatement, to imagine not being involved intimately in the lives of believing people, helping them understand their relationship and calling, baptizing babies. It's a big loss. It's a huge loss. Redding admits she still struggles to explain her transformation even to herself. I am the one who's going to have to answer for this. I'm, I'm the one who's going to have to answer for what I've done with my life. And do you feel confident about that moment? It's in the best of hands. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.